the Cross River State Government has commenced the dualization of the Calabar Dukpani Junction Federal Highway in Calabar, the state capital, the road which connects Calabar, the state capital, with adjoining states had been a nightmare for motorists and other road users. The dualization of the project is expected to be completed in 12 months. This is the Kalabao Dupani Federal Highway in Cross River State, South South Nigeria. Since the creation of the state in 1967, the road has remained the only entry and exit routes from Calabar, the state capital, to other parts of the state. Due to the narrow state of the road, motorists and other road users are oftentimes subjected to hectic traffic jam, a situation they describe as stressful. It's a sympathetic situation because I don't know, the only way we have out of this town is like this. And look at, if you are watching, you will see like this vehicle that are parked, there is lorry, the head of the lorry. This is not supposed to be parking like this. Then if anything, they have problems, they should keep it away. But it appears the pain of the people is about to come to an end, as the state government has commenced the dualization of the road with a flyover at Odupani Junction. And they hope that this will address the difficulty experienced by road users. A few weeks after that announcement, the state governor, Professor Ben Ayadi, is here on an assessment tour. You're going to there. And so, the one that takes you on the ground to Calabar, on the right hand side, you can go through that, which all those buildings will go for you to go and come back. Contractors handling the projects are also on ground and give progress report. We are on to bush clearing right now. And any valley we see, we have to walk towards the valley very well, very clean. And we see everything, we know that everything is okay before going further. As construction on this road continues, the people of the state are hoping that the project will not only be completed in record time, but will be one that would stand the test of time. In the southeast, the People's Democratic Party's national chairman, Uche Sekundus, and other board members are in Enugu State to pay a condolence visit to the family of the late former vice president, Dr. Alex Ekweme. The PDP chairman describes the late icon as an irreplaceable leader of his time, pledged to hold to a high esteem his ideology of leadership. If we are to carry out or the doctors who have to carry out a surgical operation in your heart, we can see you bleeding. But who can get there? Who can touch there? It is only God Almighty. He has a hand, unseen hand, the right hand of the righteousness of God that will move and massage your heart. And the pain will gradually vanish. May his ideals hold true, not just in our party, but in our nation, Nigeria. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. May we continue to live in unity and in peace, and may power indeed be to the people as we proclaim. And that's it for this edition of News Across Nigeria. Thanks for watching. I'm Olumide McCall.